Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Thomas, and in this video, I'm basically going to be recapping the 2017 Buffalo Bills season. Um, so, we're going to go basically game by game um, of what I remember. Um, it's going to be kind of informal, um, kind of from what I remember of the season, what I remember. I was pretty much at every single home game, um, and I watched almost all of the away games. Um, so, I'm basically just going to tell you guys what I think the Bills should do in... in um, uh, as t in terms of quarterback and um, basically just reviewing the season and, and looking at what we should do better next year, what we should plan to do better next year. So let's start off with the first game. We played the New York Jets at the Bills Stadium uh, at, at the cap at New Era. Uh, we beat the Jets. That was, a, that was a really fun game. You know, it's always great starting off the, 2000, or starting off the season um, with a win. So it was good that we beat the Jets, um, beat them 21 to 12. Um, Poyer played great in that game, had a sack. I don't, I think he had a pick in that game too. I can't remember exactly, but you know that was when he was like, "Wait, who is this guy? <laughs> He's playing good for us." You know what I'm saying? So that was that was fun. The next game, we went to uh, Carolina to play the Panthers. We unfortunately lost that game, and that was a very, a very interesting game to watch. It came down to the last play. I mean, it came down to that Zay Jones catch, catch, catch that ball. You win the game. You go, ten, you go ten and six on the year. You know, so we beat, we. Uh, I mean, we didn't beat them. No, we lost. We lost uh, nine to three. And um, what I can tell you about that game was just, you know, good defense by both teams. Honestly, any, any time you you shut a team down for less than 10 points i mean that's or 10 or less points like that's a great it's a great defensive game some people find that boring i think that's really i think it's a really interesting game because it really is a chess match you know who does what who um you know who who uh moves the ball first who finally gets in the in the end zone gets a touchdown because usually those games i mean whoever scores like first or whoever gets up the most field goals most one touchdown and it's a game over you know it's like dang you know, and that's what happened. So with Carolina, yeah, we we just lost, and, and Tyrod did not look good in that game. And you know what you're gonna do. Next, the Bills surprisingly won against the Broncos. Broncos come to Buffalo to face the Bills, and we beat them 26 to 16. I mean, we we definitely that was one of the games. I was like, wow, this is a very interesting game. And then you're like, wait a minute, we're two and one in the season. We almost we're almost three and zero. Oh. You know, is there any chance we can go to the to the um, Atlanta Falcons' house next week and pull off a miracle? I mean, an absolute miracle, you know, against this team. And we beat them. I mean, we beat the Falcons 23-17. to That was the game of the year for the Bills. That was just the game of the year. That game, after you win in that, in that game, you're like, oh, my God. Like, this team actually can go somewhere. You're 3-1 and one at that point. You're like, oh, my gosh. Like... What's going on? Like, Tyrod was was looking nice, but he had some struggles. Like, you know, you could tell, but the team was looking nice. You know, the team was like, okay, okay. Next week, I didn't watch this game. I saw clips of it. Um, but the uh, the Bengals game. <sighs> that, was, that was a tough one. I remember being in my car watching the game, watching the clock go down. I'm like, God, no, please. Please let's go four and one. Like no, I can't. We can't go three and two. I don't want to start off the season like this. But we eventually, we eventually ended up losing in Bills fashion, um, twenty to sixteen. Um, close game. You know, all these games. You know, they're close. No, they're not blowouts or anything. Um, but yeah, really, I can't really remember remember much from that game. But uh, I did like. Uh, you know, you know, we're still ahead. You know, as far as we still had a winning season, three and two. So. Um, but then we went uh, in week seven. We had a, we had a bye after that week, which we much need. We needed it so much. But after that week, we went, uh, we went week seven, and the Buccaneers, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, came up to Buffalo to play to play the Bills, and we beat them thirty to twenty seven. Another close game by three points. I think everybody chose um, the Buccaneers to win that game. Or no, not everybody. I'm sorry, not everybody. That was the Broncos and the Bills, uh, or the Broncos and the and the Falcons. All the reporters chose the Falcons and the Broncos to win against the Bills, and the Bills pulled off two wins in a row against them. But that being said, we we uh, beat the Buccaneers 27 to 30. And all I can say, all I can say, 
is Tredavious White. With that peanut punch at the end, so crucial, wins the game for us. Wins the game, We I think we kick a field goal. I think it was tied 27-27, kick a field goal and win, and win the game. Uh, and, or we were up or something. I don't remember exactly what happened, but that was an insane game. Next, after that, week eight, Raiders come to play the Bills. Another West Coast team coming to play in the on, on the East Coast. You already you already knew that you know you were like worried, but like you knew that their team wasn't like oh like what it was like the year before. So we crushed them. I mean, it was just it, the game was over at halftime. You know, you could just tell the momentum was not in the Raver, Raven uh, Ravens Raiders uh, favor at all. Um, that Matt Milano play um, was nice. Um, and, uh, so yeah, we beat them 14-34. I mean, we played, we played them, played them hard. We played them like the Bills should be playing, everybody. Um, next, we got crushed, right? We got crushed. That was, that was, this started the three-week loss slide that you're like, oh no, they're not gonna make the playoffs. They're, they're starting to suck now. No, no. I don't want to watch because there was it was always oh, horrible oh my goodness so i saw the jets game thursday there was a thursday night primetime game bills do nfl if there's one thing that i can tell the nfl please do not put the bills on primetime they lose every single time they're on primetime and it's horrible it's like every time it's crazy so we lost 34 to 21 oh it was not even close and the score does not re does not reflect <coughs> excuse me does not reflect um, how much the Jets had the game in their favor. I mean, it was just the momentum was all their way. The next week after that, I mean, if it wasn't even this bad, the Saints come into the Bills' house and destroy us 47-10. to 10. There's no way, no way, no how you're like, are you kidding me? The Saints have to win the Super Bowl now because that makes us look like we don't know how to play football. The next week after that, if it wasn't even as bad as that, is what I thought it was. We lose again to the Chargers. We start Nathan Peterman, which I mean, if you're the Saint, if you play the Saints in at your home stadium, and you lose by 37 points, a margin of 37, don't you be like, you know, you want to definitely make some def some defensive changes. But if you can't move the ball, Tyron did not score a touchdown in that game. That was Nathan Peterman. So there was three, there was, um, well, I'll, I'll get to the Tyrod, how, how I think Tyrod is going to be um, later in the video, but Tyrod didn't even score a touchdown in the game. Nathan Peterman came in and threw a touchdown, so it's like, starting quarterback, see ya. You can you can sit on the bench for now. But then five picked um, Nathan Peterman later after the loss at, you know, Chargers. They say, oh, yeah, Tyrod, I guess you can come back and play for us for right now. So what happens next week, the um, week 12, we play the Chiefs, right? Tredavious White, all I can say, Tredavious White, you know, almost a pick six at the end of the game, 16 to 10, boom, win, move on. <laughs> I actually didn't watch that game either because it was an away game, so I didn't watch it. Um, then week 13, we play the Patriots, absolutely disgusting. I mean, absolutely without a doubt, absolutely disgusting. Um, we got, we got destroyed. Um... Uh, 23 to 3 against the Patriots. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? So I'm not even gonna talk about that next week The week after was a huge turning point because if we didn't win this game this game was so so important I mean so important the Colts game Complete snow blizzard. I mean, it's like, you know, one of the, the game one of the games of the century You know what I mean? It's it was it was fantastic Shady runs in at the end of the at the end of the you know, like with like what two and a half minutes left in overtime. I mean, it is like the clock is almost out, and he just busts for that. You know, however long rush that was, and he's known for those snow games and just made a good play, good play call. You know, and beat him just simply that. <clears throat> Joe Webb to Deontay Thompson. I mean, come on. I was at that game. I left. I feel like an idiot. I'm never leaving again at a Bills game because you don't know what could happen. It was right when Joe Webb threw that interception. You're like, mmm, dang. It means I gotta win three straight now. We gotta win twi twice against Miami and once against the Patriots. No way we're doing that. No way. So, with that being said, we go into week 15 and we steal one. Absolutely, just you know, we crush them. I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't even. 
it wasn't even really close. I mean, it was 16 to 24. The Bills basically just dominated that game as far as I can remember. If I can remember that correctly, we we got them, we, we beat them pretty good. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure we beat, we beat them pretty good. And then, um, then week 16, go into Patriotsville, the Cheatriotville, whatever you want to call it. Um, and, uh, just, just a horrible game. Honestly, refs gave him the game. I'm, you know, I'll take my L. I don't mind taking an L from the Patriots. Like, I get that they're good, but like, the same time, like, it's like, come on, refs. Like, Kelvin Benjamin, he had a touchdown. Why are you taking that away? I mean, seriously, that was the turning point. Bills go up by three points or something, four points in the half. Uh, then it's like, what, 16 or 17 to 13. You get the ball back. Or I don't know if they got the ball back the second half. I can't remember, but it could have been up going into half. You know, it changes the momentum, taking away that touchdown right before halftime. Like, it was over. At that point, you're like, the refs just screwed us, and we're not coming back. There's no way. But, but... There was a, there was a, the, the bright, the lights shined bright in Buffalo week 17, the night of, um, week 17, when we played the Miami Dolphins, we beat them 22 to 16 and my, oh my, the Bills almost let this one, let the Miami Dolphins come, come back in that game. And that was scary. Jordan Poyer sealed it and, um, the game was over. And of course, I wouldn't have asked for a even uh, for a better um, way to end the 17-year drought by letting the Bengals, the Cincinnati Bengals, and Andy Dalton, who was considered, for my, I consider him until that last until that throw to Tyler Boyd, I considered him to be like a trash. You know, you're like a little, not a good quarterback. You know what I mean, like. I see him step up in that pocket and throw that ball, and you're watching. You're like, it's 4th and 12. I can't do this. I can't do this. And you watch, and you just can't believe it. I mean, like, seriously, like, for all you Patriots fans, I just want to put this in perspective. I don't hate you. I, I do hate you. I really, really hate the Patriots. But it's not because of necessarily that you win. It's just because that you, the, 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 like, the refs, like, allow you to win. Does that make sense? The refs, like... I don't know, this isn't a Patriots hate video, even though I could probably make one every single day for the rest of my life. But like, I don't think they understand the magnitude of how important that was for Bills fans. I mean, think about this, think about this. We went into Jacksonville the week after, right? And we lost three to 10. And it was a defensive battle all the way. Tyrod wasn't good, Blake Bortles wasn't, Blake Bortles ran for more yards than Tyrod Taylor. Are you seriously, what? What? I mean, what? Like, nah. I if if Blake Bortles is gonna run for more yards, and I was screaming at the TV saying QB spy, QB spy, put Preston Brown there and QB spy and, and make him stop running. I, it was a rookie. Co it was a rookie coach mistake because if you're sitting there and he's starting to run on you and he's starting to get antsy in the pocket and he just says, "Oh, I take off," you got to put in the QB spy. You got to be aware of his legs. And especially if he gets antsy. So, but anyways, we went into Jacksonville. We lost. The first playoff game in 17 years, we lost. You know what? I'm happy. As a Bills fan, I think you can understand. I'm happy. We just broke the drought. There's going to be no... Next year, you're not going to hear 18-year playoff drought. And then year after that, 19-year playoff drought. No, that's done. You know, it's been zero years since the Bills made the playoffs. Hasn't even been one year. Zero years, boy. <laughs> but, um, anyways... No, so, um, what was I saying? So the Bills, the Bills come back, right, from that trip to Jacksonville with a loss. They're all sad. They're all like, damn, we couldn't, we couldn't pull it off. We couldn't pull off a playoff win. Oh, well, there's always next year. We're going to get better. We're going to, they're going to get a new quarterback, first off. First and foremost, they're going to get a new quarterback. But they're like, oh, we just lost a playoff game. Like, the fans are going to be so disappointed. They come back. Fans are in freezing cold weather. Thousands of fans at the airport waiting to cheer at like one or two in the morning. I mean, talk about loyalty. Like, who cares? Like, seriously, like, I just want to put this in perspective. Who cares if you got five Super Bowls? 
Because let me tell you something, Patriots fans. 54. Does that, does that number ring a bell? 54. That's the number of people who came to the, to the Foxborough or whatever Boston airport where the Patriots fly into. They came, 54 of them. But thousands show up when they lose in the wild, when the Bills lose in the wild card round. Thousands of fans show up cheering their cheering their team on. Only 54. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Wonder how many bandwagon fans you guys have. Seriously. Unloyal. <sighs> Come on. That's that's weak. So that just puts you in perspective. They lose the Super Bowl. They go to the, imagine if the Bills lost the Super Bowl. If they went to the Super Bowl this year and lost, fans would be like, "We're we went to the freaking Super Bowl." Who cares if we lost? We just ended the 17-year drought and went to the Super Bowl. Of course, you know, that's probably not going to happen for a few more years. Um, if it ever happens, you know, if it ever happens, I, don't, I can't predict the future. But if it, if it were to happen, I would, it would be like Philadelphia. Buffalo, the, the way the Bills Mafia would react would be exactly like how Philadelphia reacted. But anyways, with that being said, that's kind of my, um, my recap of the of the 2017 uh, Buffalo Bills season, um, kind of really you know kind of ranted at the end there. Sorry guys, I just kind of had to get that off my chest. I was just been, you know, like like that's so silly about the Patriots and you know whatever. But um, but yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a long one; it's like almost 17 minutes long. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you liked it, please leave a comment. Please leave a like. Uh, tell me what you guys think. Um, tell me if you guys. Any kind of comment or any kind of uh, video suggestions, um, you know, would be helpful. So with that being said, um, I hope you guys have a great day or night or wherever you're watching this or whatever, whenever time you're watching this. Um, remember to keep God first and uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.